Hey guys, um, I just wanted to give you a little update on my keyboard. I got it printed out and I got it assembled and I got three notes to work, which is better than I uh, expected. Uh, but of course I have uh, a ways to go to get all 13 working. Um, I'll go ahead and show it to you. That's it right now. And you'll notice that not the, the keys aren't always uh, aligned properly. And the reason for that is because some of the parts printed out a lot more flimsily than I thought they would. Um, I didn't have a lot of experience with the materials, um, but it does work a little bit. So key one, and you see I have to push it down, and that's because there's a lot of uh, a lot of upward force uh, on the on the keys because of the uh, the springs. I have it connected to a uh, a speaker and an oscillator. And the micro keyboard, this guy, you see the white keys in the bottom, black keys in the top, it's mounted underneath the keyboard right there. You can see those white little white arms. They're actually what touch the keys. So, um, yeah, I got a ways to go. But uh, at least three notes are working. At least three keys, excuse me, are working. These guys here. Um, the problems that I had were I did not have a lot of familiarity with um, the actual plastic material and how flimsy it was. Um, what I did design into, the me into this mechanism was um, spacers that would keep all of these keys in alignment, but this is what they look like. Um, this one actually misprinted, and as you can see, they're very flimsy, and they, they don't really do anything. Um, I thought they would print more like this hard plastic, but uh, it's just the way they were set up on the printer. They didn't print all that well. Um, so that's why I'm going to have to like hold this down. And uh, yeah, so that's what I got. But a white keys, they, they, they stop too early, um, and then I'll have to shave a little bit off the bottom of the keys. Or I'll have to uh, change how the front panel works. So if I open the front panel up, you can see all the keys um, have these little, little lips here that hold on to the underside here to keep them from going up too far, like, like some kind of a uh, Sylvester the Cat piano. <laughs> so, uh, yep, that's where I'm at right now. I'm um, going to work on another version of this in the near future. And, uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. See you later.